Hi there, Eric Becker, the naturopath from New Zealand. Thanks for tuning in. Now, here's a question from a sub, not a submarine, a subscriber. I said a subscriber. Kanzita versus Nystatin. Is Kanzita better than Nystatin? Can I take both medications together? Um, okay, well, why not? Why? Or all these sort of things. So, if you look at Candida Crusher, page 219, if you've got the book, open it up, have a look at page 219. I wrote about Nystatin. Okay, Nystatin was a drug that was really developed in the 50s. It was discovered by two women, um, Rachel Brown, I think it is, Rachel Fuller and Elizabeth Brown, two women, 1954. Um, I think they discovered this drug and it actually was, it came about. Um, through working with a Streptomyces bacteria, okay, they discovered this particular type of, okay, the situation where they can, wow, we can actually make this pharmaceutical, this antifungal out of this bacteria. So it's a very interesting concept. Nystatin has been widely used since the 50s for a, a long, long time. It got called Nye after New York State, okay, because I think it was a New York uh, State Laboratory uh, where they worked on and did all the work really to you know design this medication so nice stat in new york state and it's been widely promoted even in fact dr william crook who wrote the yeast connection promoted nice statin widely back in the 80s he was a pediatrician he even but i mean this guy's a bit weird though because he even recommended nizarel which is has a potential for quite strong liver toxicity in children but he recommended that drug widely too well he was a medical pediatrician i suppose but his mind was in the right place because he did at least want, want to get children off you know, lots of candy and ice cream and things like that in an era where people didn't pay that much attention to sugar in the diet. A crook paid a ton of attention to it. But Nystatin is something I've got a lot of experience with because I worked with that drug for several years when I was in medical centers and I did see Herxheimer reactions as you can read on page 219 in my book. You may also see a writing um, on yeastinfection.org. I believe you'll read the article on there too. So the Herxheimer reactions can range from very mild up to severe and debilitating in ER room admissions. Even Dr. Crook in his book states that as long as symptoms are being in invoked by high dosages, you know Candida is being killed. And he recommended to use Nystatin in increasingly higher dosages to get a higher kill rate. So I'm not bagging or bad mouthing nystatin at all in fact for many people it's a fantastic pharmaceutical drug <clears throat> i'm not an advocate of pharmaceuticals but i'm also not a person who disrespects them to the point where i tell people to stop taking them unless it's antibiotics because i don't like them but you know that anyway but nystatin has got a good effect on many people who start with lower dosages it's gentle it's not absorbed okay it's poorly absorbed by the gi tract so if you think about that poor absorption, it'll travel from the mouth right through to the anus without being highly absorbed, which means it will kill, 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 kill. And that can create problem, 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 all right? Especially if the person starts increasing dosages and the kill's occurring. Now you won't get that with Kanzira Remove. Kanzira Remove is not poorly absorbed. It is well absorbed, okay? The body takes it up. Different organs take it up. It gets absorbed. So that means it's not going to have that super powerful effect that Nystatin has. The big difference between Remove though and Nystatin is the complexity of Remove. When we look at all of the ingredients in Kanzita Remove, okay, the 12 natural ingredients, it's far more um, profoundly complex product than Nystatin. Nystatin has a one way of action. It purely works on yeast, it works on nothing but so it won't do squat for bacteria. It won't touch parasites. It doesn't look at imbalances in the body. Remove does so much more than Nystatin ever can do, right? Big difference. Particularly if a person has got a bacterial problem with so many people out there with SIBO and combinations of SIBO and Candida I've seen over the years. I rarely saw a patient with purely just a yeast issue. I always saw yeast issues in combination with poor levels of beneficial bacteria and increasing problems with imbalances of bacteria all at the same time. So many people had multiple issues in the going on in the gut. That's why I designed Remove. Okay, Remove works on a, on a wide variety of patients whereas Nystatin purely works on yeast and nothing but. And the potential for Herxheimer reaction 
as I said, can range from mild to extreme. But many people with bad yeast infection, I have treated with nystatin to a very good effect. All right, starting on 500,000 you know, units, maybe a small dose. I will tell you though that the powder has more potential for upsetting the gut than a capsule or a tablet of nystatin will. So if you're looking at nystatin therapy, do not take nystatin in conjunction with Kenzie to remove. It's not a good idea. It's not a good idea. And start slowly, start with a small dose, particularly for several days before you start deciding on jumping into a higher end. But nystatin does work when a stool report comes back with massive yeast levels. Even then when I see that, I never encourage a patient to take a million units or high end dosage from day one. We always started them low and gently build up. So that's the story of nystatin. It's a good drug, but potential's there for a lot of a lot of danger for some people. And it has a one-sided action. It's not absorbed, so it's not you know bad in that sense, but it doesn't touch bacteria or parasites. So that's a difference. Removes more natural. It's not really going to uh, create serious aggravation potential like the other product does and it works on a far broader spectrum. That's all I wanted to say. Thanks for tuning in.